Hi guys, what's up? I wish you're happy and healthy. Today I'm gonna talk about something I'm afraid you hate. But that's your fate, you got no choice. But don't forget to rate the video you hate. Let's get it started. In today's short video, I'm gonna talk about some of the most common confusing verbs, not to you, but to a lot of non-native speakers. And they are confusing because they are similar in meaning or similar in pronunciation. That's why they, we call them confusing verbs or confusing words. So the key to know how to use the, uh, these confusing verbs when you speak or when you write or, or when you do an exercise is to know the meaning the right way and to forget about the meaning of these confusing verbs in Arabic because the meaning in Arabic sometimes is behind your mistakes. So forget about it and try to keep in, in your mind the meaning that I show you right now. And the confusing verbs of today are teach, learn, let, leave, set, and set. I'm going to talk about the first pair, which is teach versus learn. A lot of guys, and I don't know why they make mistakes using teach and learn. And they are super easy, but you got to do this. Forget about the Arabic meaning. This is uh, secret number one. And try to know the meaning in English the right way. Teach is to give knowledge. You give knowledge to someone or someone gives knowledge to you. It doesn't matter. So someone is the source of knowledge. Learn is to get or take knowledge from someone. You take knowledge from someone or I take knowledge from someone. So all the time with learn, you're taking, you're receiving. Just like you're receiving a call. You're not the caller. You're just the receiver with learn. Let's take a quick eye on these examples. I want to teach you how to drive. Drive a car, for example. I want to teach you how to drive. I know how to drive. I have knowledge. So I'm going to give you knowledge about driving. So I'm going to teach you. Teach who? Teach you. All the time teach has an object. Teach who? Teach you. I'm gonna, I want to teach you how to drive. Because I have knowledge. So I want to teach you how to drive. But example number two. I want to learn how to drive. I don't know how to drive. So I need somebody to teach me how to drive. In this case, I want to receive or get or take knowledge from someone who knows much about driving. Got it? Learn who? I don't learn anybody because I'm receiving. I can't say learn you. I can't say learn Muhammad. But in Arabic, I can't say it. That's why a lot of people make mistakes using learn. All the time, keep, keep this secret in your mind. Learn, all the time, learn what? Learn from Mahmoud, learn from Abdulaziz, Abdul Muttalib, Adam, but teach, teach who? Teach you, teach Muhammad, teach Adam, teach Dad, whatever. Let's take a closer eye on this example. I teach them tracks. Teach who? Them. Who is given the knowledge? I. So I'm given knowledge, so I'm using teach. I teach them tricks. I usually teach my students magical tricks. I have no idea about magical tricks, but I'm just saying this one for fun. The fourth one, they learn tricks from me. They learn what? Tricks. I can't say they teach tricks. Because all the time, teach, you teach someone. Teach Muhammad, teach Abdulaziz, teach Adam, teach Dad. But I can't say, learn Jad. In Arabic, we can say that. That's why we make a lot of mistakes, as I told you before. I don't know whether I said it before, or this is the first time I say it. 
Got it? All the time with teach, you're given knowledge. Learn, you're receiving knowledge. Receiving knowledge. You're taking knowledge. So you can't say, I learn Abdullah how to drive. I teach Abdullah how to drive. Learn doesn't take an object. Keep that in your mind. All the time say, I learn from my dad. I get knowledge from my dad. I learn uh, from my mom. But my mom teaches me how to be a good guy. Teach is to give. A learn is to receive or take. The second pair is let and leave. Let and leave. They are absolutely and totally different. And I don't know why people uh, get confused using these two common confusing verbs. Let all the time when you just want to use it. Think about it this way. You want to take a permission from someone or you want to give someone permission to do something. That's it. Let's take a quick eye on these examples. Imagine you're saying to me, can you let me, let me becomes, let me use your car. What I'm trying to say, can you allow me to use your car, better to use with allow to, can you allow me to use your car? I'm trying to take your go ahead, your permission to use your car. I can say, can you leave me, because leave means to go away, or to let remain in place. In this case, I'm trying to get your permission, because I want to take something from you, which is the car. Can you let me use your car? Just like, can you allow me to use your car, uh, or can you give me the permission or the go ahead to use your car? Uh, my dad won't let me go outside. Imagine I just say, hey, Muhammad, how are you doing? I want you to go, I, I want to go with you outside today. Then you say to me, my dad won't let me go outside. That means my dad won't give me the permission to go outside. I can say, my dad won't leave me go outside. Because leave, in this case, means to go away or to let remain in place. And I'm trying to get my dad's permission. I'm trying to get my dad's permission in this case, so my dad won't give me that permission to go outside. Let's take a quick and closer eye on the examples by uh, leave. As I said, leave means to go away or to let remain in place. So, before you leave this room, before you leave, close the door. Before you go away from this room, close the door. I can't say before you let this room, this room is not a living thing, so it can't take a permission. You can't say, if you let this room close the door. You got to say, if you leave, if you go away from this room, close the door. The fourth one, I leave school at one o'clock. I leave school at one o'clock. That means, I go away from my school one o'clock. I can't say, I let school at one o'clock. Because I don't want to give my school permission, or it doesn't work that way. It sounds, you know, strange. I let my school, or I let school at 1 o'clock. What does that mean? Are you going to uh, allow school um, to do something? Is the school a human to, do, to, to give it a permission to do something? So it doesn't work that way. All the time, think about the meaning before you decide. And the last pair which is uh, kind of confusing to some because it's kind of uh, close or kind of similar in pronunciation is sit and set, sit and set. When you're trying to say this word 
with, a, with letter I, try to say it fast, set. What we call it in Arabic, there is kasra. And with letter E, try to open up your mouth longer. So it becomes set, eh, eh, set. And this one, set, set. A lot of people, uh, you know, get confused when, when using these can, uh, two confusing words. I don't know why. Uh, they are similar in pronunciation, but they are absolutely different in meaning. Number one, set, it means to rest this part somewhere, this part somewhere. It could be on the chair, or it could be on the sofa, on the ground. Think about it just as rest in some, uh, uh, this part somewhere. That's it. Let's take a quick eye on these examples. Imagine I'm saying to you, sit down. What does that mean? I'm trying to say, rest this part down. Sit down, dude. Or, sit on the chair or sofa. What I'm trying to say, rest this part on the chair or sofa. Don't think about it other than this. Think about it as rest in this part, whatever you like. The last one is set. Eh, set. I told you, it's kind of similar to that one in pronunciation, but it's totally, totally different in meaning. This one, when you try to use it, when you write or you do an exercise, think about it as placing something or putting something on the ground or anywhere. For example, set the tray on the table. What I'm trying to say, a tray, you know, we use it for food. You can just hold it just like this, set it on the ground, like that. Put it on the ground. Place it on the ground. Or set the box down. What are you trying to say is place it down, put it down. So just to make it easier, think about this one. Think about this one as place and put in something, down or anywhere. And think about this one as rest in uh, this part, anywhere. It's up to you. That's it guys, I hope you learned. That's it guys, I hope you learned new stuff. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you clear all the confusion over using such confusing verbs. Don't forget to write me your feedback and if you're still facing troubles using these confusing verbs, don't hesitate to write me uh, your feedback in the comment section. Until next time, this is me, Mr. Secret, saying see ya.